Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Disgaea 1 Complete. It is on the PS4 and we are about to go and do hopefully a little quick power leveling thing. So with that, we're actually going to turn these off just to speed things along for this particular episode. And we're going to try to get Arzla up a bit higher. So, as you can see, I have items ready for the next encounter with the enemy. And essentially we are, oops, and essentially we are going to be swapping with Etna. The Testament is coming off of her and she is snagging up the Pravada necklace. The Pravda necklace, wherever it is, it's fine. And Arzla's getting the Testament. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to heal up. We'll grab some more stuff before, but essentially the wife is gone for another, uh, another hour or so. So, oops. So instead of, uh, yeah, no, this is where I wanted to go. Instead of having to stop right away, I actually get to go and do this again. Alright, welcome to our little level up paradise, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the level up paradise. It is here that we shall make a fantastical name for ourselves. We're going to go here and do this. We're going to go all the way to the bottom. And we are going to pick up Etna. We are going to diagonal throw her over this way, and then she is going to come over here and chuck the big old giant stinky zambi right on over to that guy. And now we have ourselves the very start of our operation. And we're going to head up and we're going to grab Courtney, and we're going to use her super amazing special abilities of the star power of doom. I believe we may even use her as the next level up candidate after this. And we're going to stick her there. We're going to come over here and we're going to be all like, what's going on? And it's going to be fine. Um, we'll use Leo for the uh, tossing ability. So I'm going to throw you up onto him. Going to grab Planair. We want to do a bit more damage before we finish this all out. And we're going to drop the Usagi on him, and it's going to be nasty, and it is not going to be enjoyable in any way. And that is okay. And then what are we going to do? What are we going to do indeed? Well, lots of things, actually, but one of those things is we're going to attempt... I do say attempt because it's very possible that I'm going to screw this up. Okay, see? So it's there and there. Yep. That's that's about what I figured was going to happen. I thought it was very possible I was going to screw it up. I wasn't lying to you. I still haven't quite mastered the diagonal throw. I mean, I've gotten significantly better at it. I have not mastered it, though. Alright, so we're going to throw you there. And then we're going to do a nice, quick, and easy transfer of you. Going ahead and King of Beasting this out of here. And then we need, like, a Chimera or Zap, maybe, to come over here and make this right. And there it is. So 650 is the mark. Uh, we do not want to suffer the zombie twister, so if there is a way... Uh, come on, brain. There we go. There it is. Okay. So we're probably okay for the zombie twister at this point. We'll see. Oh, he's gonna hit Etna. Etna's gonna hit back. That's all there was. That was a full exchange, and I am okay with that. We're going to avalanche here. We'll jump away, and that's a fairly sizable chunk of damage already, but we're not done yet. We're going to come up here, and we're going to use this. Okay, and I believe we'll be able to King of Beast you back over that way. Putting you pretty close to death. Not quite there yet, but we're getting there. We will go ahead... Actually, let's take a peek. What do you resist? Wind. Alright, we're going to go ahead and we're going to blow a whole bunch of wind on you. You are not going to enjoy yourself. You can be all like, I'm chilly! 
Be like, yeah, you are. Uh, can't do it yet. I'm gonna put you away, though. You've served your purpose. We're gonna put you away. We're gonna, again, go with Omega Wind. We're gonna hope that it does about 1,600 damage, if not more. 1,100. A little underwhelming on that front, but that's okay. Uh, I'm gonna step away. I'm gonna come over here. Oh, this is not even on the field yet, so that's a thing. I'm gonna wind cut. 420 damage. A very underwhelming. But that's okay as well. I think we can do Usagi from here without endangering ourselves. 819. I'm going to step over here, and we're going to do some work again. We're going to use the Hurricane Slash. And you think at this point we're looking a little worried here. And you'd be right. We would be ordinarily a little worried. But we have ourselves a few little bonus things that we can do to make our lives a bit easier, safer. And one of those bonus things is... I have to use you, aren't I? Mm, I can't. All right is we're going to use Chimera and use her as a sacrificial goat, essentially. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to drop you. And yeah, 15,000 damage or whatever that was, 150, I don't know. That was a lot of damage. It wasn't great. We're going to go right here and we are going to say good day, sir. Enjoy the pretty raid. And there it is, 1,500 damage. That should be well within the threshold that we're looking for, but just in case it's not... We're going to move you over. We're going to have you do your Hurricane Slash. And there it is. Now we're under a thousand. If she cannot pull the numbers that we're looking for, we are going to be a sad panda all around. Let's go with the Night Sever. And we said good day, sir. So, she's now 123. Pretty good. I didn't check to see what level it was beforehand. You guys can go back and see. I want to say she was around 108. 112, maybe? So, maybe like 109, I don't know. Anyway, she's 123. It was a pretty substantial increase in power. As I'm sure you've all now noticed. We have a few things that we still need to do. So we are by no means done. We're going to go basically do the same thing on the other side. But, the other side's a little bit trickier. Because, you know, these things are horrible horrible monsters and they do just terrible awful bad things to everyone involved and I don't have enough mana to do what I want okay so we're gonna move Courtney here we're gonna go ahead and use an item we'll go with the low end the egg yolk that should give her enough it's fine we're gonna get Flanair to come over and hang out too which is also cool Definitely going to need you at some point. Get you prepared. Zap can come chill over here as well. And we have enough for... Uh, I missed it. Where are you? Tamlin? There you are. Enough for a little bit of healing going down right here. Yeah. We'll throw some more heals in the future. All right. And in the turn, they don't seem to move, so they're not, like, super ultra-hostile, which is nice. I, I'll, I'll use her first, because planaire has got a little bit of wiggle room that she can get away with. Alright, so we have enough for the Omega Star. Big one on all five. Yeah, it was, it was pretty good. And then we're going to go here, and again, it's going to be the Winged Slayer this time. And that is pretty cool. And then what we're going to need is to pick you up, chuck you... Actually, can... Oops, sorry. Can we move you back into... Yes, we can. Alright, we're going to go ahead and we're going to heal you up. There it is. Enjoy. We're going to move you back over here. And Arzla, not quite close enough. We'll bring Katie out. We can bring Arzla out. We can lift Arzla. Throw her slightly closer. Move her in. I don't want her to kill things. It looks like she might, so we need to start throwing people around at this point. Alright, so we're going to start throwing people around now. In hopes that it all works out. For the greater good, which I, I really don't think it's going to, but that's fine. All 
All right, we're gonna pick Edna up and throw her over. Got it. There it is, see? My diagonal throwing, I told you. It's improving, it's not great. But it's getting there. I've gotten a lot better at it. All right, the dream, the goal here is to not die. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to pick you up and toss you. I mean, maybe over there somewhere. I will see how that goes. Okay, move you there, and I'm not even sure what to do with you. Put you back over here. As long as Arzla doesn't die, we're pretty happy. If she dies, we're much less happy. Alright, tag team up on him, and that's all that happened. I'm I'm totally down with that. That is 100% okay. Um... Let's move this guy over here. Do we... Is that 650, right? Okay, I'm like... I feel like we're missing something. I feel like something didn't go the way it was supposed to. I feel like something went wrong. But no, we're okay. Okay, I am not sure if we're on point for this, but we're gonna try it anyway. Oh yeah, looks like we're good. And her range is really improving. Oh, Courtney. Oh, we should have gone with fire on that one. Special rapid fire. Let's do it. Okay, and I, I think that's enough. I think we've got this. So she's level 123 right now. We're going to go ahead and we're going to use the Night Sever once more. And it should be enough. It is enough. She was 123. She is now... 133, so she just gained another 10 levels there. And let's see, where does that put her HP wise? Arzal is now at 3800, which is pretty good. So that was one that we definitely wanted to increase the strength of. The other one is going to be Planaire, so we're going to swap it out for Planaire. And yeah. So again, the statistician, our level 238 guy there, is doing work, mad work, guys and gals. So if you guys are wondering, yes, it is 100% worth it. I do want to swap it out for Bumpy, but I know better. We're going to take the shoes away, put the testament in there, and we're going to hope for the best. So now we're looking for Planaire to do some work. And I, I suppose we could probably re-equip Arzla with... Uh, I don't know. With ninja shoes, I guess? Or you know what we can do? Why don't we... Why don't we take the neck the ninja shoes for that? We go back to Arzla and then we can get our, our original item back on her. There we go, now we're feeling good. Alright. We're feeling good, we're enjoying ourselves. We're feeling pretty solid, we got a, a decent chunk of money. Uh, it doesn't look like we'll come anywhere near close enough to get, like, a new super weapon. But, we're better off than we were. And I'm okay with that. Alright, we're gonna do that one more time, guys and gals. And then that'll probably do it for this episode. And then we'll return to the Grand North where we'll fight Madeiras in the next one. So, let's see if we can't do basically the same thing. Again, I don't have this down to a science, but it worked out pretty good. Gives me a chance to practice my uh, diagonal throws, which is never a bad thing. I mean, we could just chuck them right there. But it's much more fun to do it that way. Because, again, diagonal throws. Alright, so we got that. Let's go with Bump... Uh, let's not go with Bumpy yet. Let's go with our gal. The, the woman, the myth, the legend. We're going to drop the Omega Star on to their Abutes. And it's a whole bunch of damage. Probably should have done that before the tossing, the throwing of the peeps. 
I realize that, but that's okay. Um, we'll say Bumpy. Bumpy to throw. I mean, at this point, it's just there, right? Um, I suppose we could still use Planar to do some, some work. I don't see that as being a problem. Usagi drop. Oh, well, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. She, she did a, she did a lot of damage there. That was, uh, that was pretty substantial, I'm not gonna lie. So now, we're gonna try a zap. Chugging this bad boy. Got him. Look at that. Precision. Pinpoint accuracy, for once. It was, uh, it was nice. I felt good. I felt good about that one. Now, if we were super tanky and really, really, really confident... And I wanted to take the time to do it. We could technically combine these guys into a... Would that be 1,300? Combining this half and that half. And then killing it. And it would be a just m ginormous, massive amount of experience. But I'm not that confident. This is a little bit easier. A little bit safer. And something I'm more willing to deal with. So, yeah, we're going to roll with it. Um, Who are we going to sacrifice? We'll sacrifice Leo. No, we'll sacrifice Chimera. Leo still has his uh, standings for right now. Yes, it is sad that my wife is a sacrificial goat. I I know. And the turn. She took a tremendous amount of damage. We are going to do this. And then we are going to go over here. I'm going to move you over here to do the bullet storm. Yeah. It wasn't quite enough. I'm going to put you back down over here with an avalanche. Okay, we're doing a bit of work. Doing a bit. 3,000, what, what are we rocking here? 1,900. I, um, I'm, I'm scared to use Bumpy. I don't know what kind of damage numbers he can pull. I don't think he pulls 1,900. I hope not. Okay, he pulls 13. I said, I don't, I don't, it doesn't feel like a 1900 damage guy. Like, maybe, but I don't think so. And there it is. There's a sweet 119 coming to plein air. And yeah, we're feeling pretty good. So I, we didn't have access to this most of the time I was doing my power leveling. So I was pretty stoked to see this actually this level show up because it it has some serious ramifications as you can tell we can do quite a bit of work with this all right so we're gonna go after this blob of oh he decided to come after me well unexpected can i throw him far enough i hope so please oh i can't that's the worst hey remember you why don't you come back over here? Why don't we swap? We're not going to swap. We're just going to move Slate over here to throw. Whee! Throw you over there. Planair has the damage to make everybody scream and cry. Oh boy, that is so much damage. Alright, so doing some work here. Gonna lift up Arzla, gonna lift up a Bumpy. Gonna throw. I don't think I can. There it is. Alright, gonna throw you there. Gonna move over here. Um. We have Antros still hiding in the shadows here. Why don't we use him to toss... K 
Katie across the, the pond here. And she can make this a reality. And there it is. Alright, so all that has been done. We are going to come and do some damage. Granted, you know, that's not the best damage we can do. We're going to use wind once more because it does seem to be your vulnerability. So while we can, we will use the wind. And you're only rocking 8600. I'm pretty sure we can take you. And we'll even move Zap. So Zap is ready to go for the next deal. I imagine Katie... Ooh, and Etna was going to be your... I wasn't expecting Etna to be part of your murder spree, but that's fine. Can I avalanche? Can't. Not that way, anyway. I can probably avalanche this way, though. Yep. Toodles! Alright. Are we rocking 60? Yeah, we, we got this. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and... Oops. We'll go ahead and Knight Sever you. 47. Still pretty strong. Bullet Storm? Nope. And I can't do Rapid Fire because you're too far out. So, apparently it's just a basic attack. Not, not really a very tremendous basic attack either, mind you. Alright, let's lift you up. Let's throw you on over. Hmm. Not really a lot we can do. Push you over further and further away. Do the Usagi drop. Pretty sure it's going to be fine. It's not going to kill him. No, I mean, like, by no means. But... We're definitely not losing this map, and I don't think we have to worry too much about, like, her dying, either, so... Like, Planair should be fine. She should be safe. I think she's safe. I hope she's safe. Ooh! Everybody lived through that. I'm mildly impressed. Um... Don't be too much damage. 1400. Ah, oh, that's perfect. That's what we're looking for. And Planaire with an easy kill here off of the Usagi drop. Hmm. Maybe we don't want to do it off the Usagi drop. Maybe we don't want to do it off the Usagi drop. One, two, three, four. Move you out of the way. And what if we did it off the rapid fire? Very nice. Alright. We even probably have enough time to do one more. Or at least hop in and start the battle. Let's uh, take a quick peek here. Planair is rocking 129. So we're feeling we're feeling pretty good at this point. Like, we're, we're maybe not the biggest deal, but we're a pretty big deal. So we're going to go to Planair. And we are going to remove the testament. And then we're going to remove the ninja shoes. And I don't know, I feel like the ninja shoes are not the greatest thing for her. Oops, it's alright, it's alright. Hmm. Let's see what else we've got here. I know we've gotten some extra new cool things. We have the Falcon Shoes still. The Ninja Shoes we have are actually really decent. So, do we have anything better than the Cross Scope? I'll try it a little bit. It doesn't look like we're getting real lucky. I even have the next, like, series that we have the Foresight, which is another 401. I mean, it's just gonna increase damage. Yeah, why not? I don't think she needs the other stuff. Like, the ninja shoes are cool, gives her a little bit of speed and a hit and all that other stuff, but in reality, we don't need it. She's got three glasses. Um, the ninja shoes for Arzla. So better on everything but the hit, that's fine. And I'm sure, there we go, let's put the ninja shoes there so they're out of our inventory. Alright, let's take a look at our items real quick. 
that's fine. All right, we're going to buy some more. Just We're loading up on consumables, and the next episode will be the end of it all. 14. I hope you guys are excited to see the end of it, but don't worry. It's not going to be the end of Disgaea by any stretch of the imagination, folks. In fact, I've been revitalized just playing this. Like, I absolutely forgot how much I love Disgaea, so... You'll see a lot more. We'll finish through this. We're going to play a lot of the extra stuff. We're going to go back through Laharl mode and everything else. We're going to play Disgaea 5. We're going to go back to Axel mode for Disgaea 2. We're going to do some leveling up in between. There's going to be a ton of stuff. And we're going to get the true ending for Disgaea 1 that we did not get for uh, Disgaea PC. So, stuff to look forward to. I think we'll go one more little blob into here and then that should be it. Claire, chocolate, one more. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, flan and chocolate. Yam starch, not enough. All right. We can go into our items. We're going to go ahead and we're going to organize them. And it's from lowest HP gain to highest, and then from lowest mana gain to highest. And there we are. We are set. Everything is ready, and we are prepared for our final endeavor into the doom of gloom and shroomitude. Uh, well, we would be if I heal everybody up. <clears throat> Do that. Testing all of you. All right, let's go take a final look. So 168 Etna going in. Planair at 129. Arzla at 133. Bumpy sadly trailing pretty far behind at 99. But again, we know, you know, 10 minutes and he could be 125 plus. Uh, we have Antros trailing at 84, and those are our, our top five people. So Antros, Arzla, Bumpy, Planair, and Etna. So they are all fairly strong. Again, everybody else is trailing a little bit. Stars at 73s. Okay, Courtney at 77 is a bit better. And our healers are a bit underwhelming still. But it is what it is. Anyway, folks, the conclusion, I think... Unless I'm totally wrong and I'm reading the entire situation incorrectly. The conclusion is next episode. If not, it'll be the episode after that, or we'll, we'll see. Either way, folks, until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>